we're going to have a look at the brand new Airfix 35th scale armor kits. Hello, I'm BJ from Hearns, and we're going to have a look at the brand new Airfix 35th scale armor kits. So these three are the latest, well the first of the series to come out. Okay, so we've got the Tiger one, early version. So early version's got a few different things with the exhaust. Um, this was the main thing with the early version. And then we've got the British M3 Stewart honey version, which is different shaped turret. And then over here we've got the uh, 35T, which was a very early tank, which um, I think it was uh, checked in um, uh, Origin. Okay, so if we have a quick look at uh, open up the Tiger one. There you go. So box is pretty big, and as you can see, it's pretty jam-packed full of stuff. Now this has got interior detail as well, because you can see the, the turret basket base there, bits of the gun. There's the exterior of the turret. Okay, so you got the, the storage baskets, you've got all the hatches. It's all in there. Okay, so here you've got the engine parts. And interior, you got the driver steering wheel, got uh, oh, you got the radios, you got the brakes or the clutch system, I should say. Fairly intricate. And then you've got the uh, over here is the early version air filters. So when these were first released, these things uh, saw action in uh, Northern Africa and Italy. So a lot of dust around there. So you got that. Okay, you got the hot main hole here. Now these things, what are these things? I don't know what these things are. It's a bit of a mystery. But you can give an idea of how big the Tiger tanks were. So I mean the good thing with these is they've got the individual um, trailing links. So if you want to make them uneven, like it's going over rough ground, that'll be quite easy to do. Just got that. So here you've got two sprue exactly the same because you've got all the trailing links here. For your suspension, got all the individual uh, handles. These would be the um, extra magazines for the machine gun, which would have been loaded inside. Various internal parts, looks like batteries. Oh yeah, there's the, the fan units for inside the engine, radiators. Yeah, little patches for the, uh, the ammunition for the machine guns. Over here you got all your road wheels. You've got the rubbery parts here. So these would mount inside the wheels so that when you press them onto the uh, the trailing arms you'll still be able to rotate them. Got the gearbox housing there. Got the idler, drive sprocket. Okay, you've got some of the, uh, the shells here. So the shells would be loaded up inside the tank. Uh, these look like the tor torsion bar suspension system, which would be in the bottom of the hull. Got a few bits and pieces here for the, the crew. Wheels are all nicely detailed, both front and back. It's all very nice. There you go, look at that. There's individual track links. So, some people love them, some people hate them. But I actually quite like them because when you build individual track links, you can get that natural sag that you can't get on uh, rubber tracks. And the thing is you have to cut out each one of these and clean them up, which can be time consuming, but that's something best done in front of a TV. So I'll leave that. And here we've got the final bag of gear. So we've got some photo etching in here. So this is a photo etching which covers up the, the grills on this side. That was just to stop the, the stones from falling into the engine compartment. So another set will go across here. You've got all your tow cables here which would lie across the top. It's the front end with the machine gun, it's the driver's viewport. Uh, that's a cover for one of the uh, exhausts here on this side. Okay so that's more interior part. So you've got the sides of the engine there. Uh, more of the, the engine casing. Uh, don't recognize the rest of this but they're all internal I'd say. There. We've got a set of decals. 
But then again, you know, decals would be quite simple on a an armor <coughs> vehicle. Most of it's in the camouflage. So as you can see, that's a quite a late so a camouflage pattern to put on there. It's quite intricate. But you get some options. Oh, there's a little view of some of the uh, the manual. So the manual looks like it's in multiple pieces. So you can see just here the interior detail you can get in the turret. It's quite nice. And there's another option. So where's this? This is uh, that's in Russia. Okay, so it's Russian front. So that there, and then this part here. So that gives you a better idea of the internal detail of the hull. So you've got the, your driver compartment, you've got your radio operator and machine gunner here, you got all your radios there, you've got your batteries, torsion bar suspension, all the loads there, and then the engine compartment. Quite a lot of work. And then here we've got more of the manual. Interesting how it's all made up of multiple sheets. So there you go. So it's all pretty straightforward. It'll be a bit of a build though, because there's so many bits going inside. So you just have to take a bit of care, get all the bits to fit in nicely, and you'll have a nice kit. So there you go. First look at the uh, the Airfix uh, Tiger One, early version. So I might just pack all these bits away, and we'll have a look at the uh, the other two. Quick to put this here. Alright, let's move on to here. Let's look at this Stuart. Okay, so Stuart was a light tank. The Americans had a version as well, um, which this is based on. You can see the size. It's quite a light tank, used in Northern Africa. Very cute. And then there's the very specifically, I don't know if you can see it, it's quite angular uh, honey turret. So it appears to be a little bit of detail there too, so that's the inside of the basket, where a figure would be standing. You've got some gear mechanisms here. Quite crisp. Let's move the hole over here as well. So we've got over here, so... So here you can see the individual bits of the side of the tracks, because it's supplied with rubber tracks, as well as individual tracks. So you can choose a method you like better. So if you like to sag and you don't mind spending all that time cutting out all these little pads, then that's my preferred method. It'll be uh, the individual track ones. But there's all, always the option of the simple rubber track as well. So you've got all these panels here. This looks like it's got a bit of internal detail as well. Here you've got all the track wheels. Suspension components. A bit of cable for the tow wire. Drive sprocket. On this smaller sheet here, you've got all the uh, external gear. So you've got some of the shovels. You've got the browning machine guns. You've got the, the 30 cal. Uh, you've got some rucksacks. A few crates. What else we got there? Oh, various external tools are all on that one. And then this one, which had all these links again. That had uh, that's the internal parts of the tank. The floor. There you go, a little decal sheet. And then here we've got the manual, and again it's in sort of multi-part, so this, this one here's got the part list, and then it's got colour for the various options there. Quite thorough. And then there's a the manual. So manual goes through it, so as you can see you've, you're building up the hull, doing the suspension, this is uh, internal parts, so it's the main f fighting area. Your driver's section and your radio operator. Spare magazines for the machine guns. And then all the external detail. So he's doing the individual track, or that's the option for the, the flexible track. So it's a lot simpler. But I think individual definitely looks better. It's good that they've got the option. And then you've got your main gun and then the turret. So it's got internal detail for the front end, but doesn't have the engine, which isn't a bad thing. It keeps it simpler, and I mean, that's the area where you see most of the detail anyway. 
So that's a nice kit there. Alright, so that's the uh, the Stuart honey. So let's quickly just pop these bits back here. Alright, so the final kit we're looking at today is the 35T. So again, an early uh, war tank. Now, gives you a bit of an idea of the size. It's a bit bigger than a Stuart. Again, quite a light tank. So you've got the size of the hull here. So it's broken up into a few bits there. And there's a turret, which is about the same size as the honey, really. This one, unlike the others, comes with some uh, figures. So you've got, you've got your options for heads here. You've got the half figures here, that will be for the driver, and then you have a full figure here for the commander. So you've got uh, the hatches, uh, bottom of the uh, the turret there. Right about there. Okay, for the first big sprue, there's a bit of um, string there to use as a coat, tow cable. You've got the track guards, you've got the gearboxes. It's a lot of tiny intricate parts for a small tank. And then here you've got all the road wheels and the suspension. So you've got the, uh, your drive sprockets. So there's two sheets there, all the same parts because you'll be using a lot of those wheels. And then here, so this one's not individual track, but it's partial. So you've got straight sections there. So you can feel it here, it's already got the, uh, the droop in it for the top. And then you can get the individual ones and build it around the edges, so you can get it nice and tight. So it can look really natural. And then there's a whole bunch of um, uh, fuel drums they can put on the side. So there's the fuel drums there. There we go. And then, similar sort of fashion, you got the colour there to give you the different options. So you've got Poland 39, and then a bit later, 1941. So what's that? That's a. Um, Slovak version. Okay, there you go. Something a bit different. And then you got your your decals there for the two different versions. And the manual, of course. So unlock here. So unlock the others. This one doesn't have any interior detail. So it's simpler, but you got your semi-complicated track system, you can just sort of see the curve that they've already moulded in there, which is quite clever. And then there's your half figure for the driver, you can just pop in there, and then there's a full figure for the commander. So the commander you can have just poking up the turret, just like so. So there you go, so the my review of the three latest tanks in the FX uh, armor range. So thanks for watching.